So this way we can open our Revit program. Second, you see this one, my cursor, those are recent file, open recent file for Revit. The previous guys who, who were using this computer, they opened this, this file. So while you are working Revit, your previous or your recent files, you will see it here. If you open any mechanical works, it will show you here you was working mechanical work. Now, here what's written schedule, schedule, Revit model, Revit model. So the person who used this computer, before I opened this file, he was using this one, schedule. Before that, he used this one, then Revit model. So in your computer also to show you something like that. Now, you see over here, in our left hand side, you have architecture templates, MEP system, mechanical, and so on. In some of your computer, you don't have anything. Don't worry, when you install the new software, it's empty. So you need to have that one to start the program. And I'll show you how to create these templates in the view, in, the, in our recent file view, and how to remove it. Also, we will see this one, the first step. Let's go to this application menu up. You see the alphabet up, the, the corner. Click there and option. Let's click on options. One dialog box will appear. This is the setting for this part. Now, <coughs> yeah, options. Click options. I'll repeat again. R, file, then options. In some of your computer, you see, you don't have R, right? The alphabet R. You have file. Click on file. Then option. Again, in some of your computer, you don't have this R logo. You see? You have file, correct? Yes. Click on file. Then click options. This dialog box will appear. It's okay? It's okay now? Okay, so file location, check your left hand side up. We have general user interface, graphics, file locations. Let's click on file locations. You see, those now in my computer, let's talk about my computer. Yours also try to compare it. I have architecture, MEP, and so on. Whatever you see it here, your left hand side, this reason, whatever is here, it's up here. here. So when you add anything in it here, it will appear here. If you remove it from here, it will be removed also from here. Second, this minus symbol is used for removing. This one is for adding. If I want to remove the structural, select the structural and click minus. Try it. Remove this all. Select for this, click on structural, then click minus. Click the upper one, minus. Do the same thing and make it empty. That one will remain only. Because you cannot remove it that one. Or select structural, remove. Then minus, minus. It will remove. But the last one, I can't remove it. By default, the red mark will be hidden. Because one thing, one template should remain there. Default. So I'll press OK. Once you removed it, click OK. Now look the change. It's gone, right? All gone. Only one template are remaining. <coughs> that one is, in my computer, is architectural template. OK. I'll add, now, before I go inside, before adding to another, let me explain to you what is architectural template, what is the structural template, and other things. The architectural template is prepared to work only for architectural works for structural templates only for structural MEP also only MEP sometimes you can use multiple work but that one we have here system template now let me op let's open the architecture template maybe if you don't have in your computer follow me it's okay you will see it later I will open the architecture template architecture if you have okay if you have any template in your computer open it no problem Open it, then you will see the change at least. You will compare it with my computer. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> all right as you can see here in my computer first you see this one is project browser the other side is properties don't worry in some of you your computers this both of them project and properties are in one side in this side properties and project browser you see just try to read this one the title project browser those project browsers we can see here the levels your floors floor first floor second floor you will see here the ceiling plan first ceiling and elevations schedules families link ravens everything we can see it under project browser you can scroll up and down you can see it in your computer maybe it's half 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 is proper half is project okay in this project template, in my this one is architectural template. Okay, when you open the architecture template, it will bring you this one. In architecture template, we have floor plan and ceiling plan. But once you open system template, it will show you HVAC, mechanical, for uh, electrical, plumbing. It will show you, we will have three disciplines. So, but here in architecture, we only have floor plan and ceiling plan and elevation. You can see it like that. I will close it this one. Now I will add for mechanical. So how do we add the templates into our Revit? First, we go to File or Revit Application, Menu, Options. Let's click to Options. The dialog box will appear. Then click on File Location. Then you see this plus symbol is add. Click on this add. All right. So where do we found these all <coughs> libraries or templates in local disk C? First, we need to go to my computer or choose it from here, my computer. If you have in your left pane also, you can choose it from here, my computer. Then local disk C or OSC from computer to computer is different right the version of the windows so I'll go to C double click on C then program data search program data now this one is little trick part some people most of the people they don't find they don't know where the location of this program data because it's hidden most of the time it's hidden so how do you make it visible that one the folder option it's hidden we have folder option right like show hidden file and don't show we need to uh, enable that one first i'll open any folder i'll close this one for now i'll open any folder i just need to make it show and don't show okay the folder options here view options change folder and search options in some of your computer it's tools and option if you notice you will have here how about yours organize or folder organization you have like that yeah organize in some of your computers it's organize up below file below file organize then option uh, folder and search options so one dialog box will appear to you click on view tab then i'll come to you i'll come to you all go to view tab and here you can see don't show hidden file and show hidden file folders click on that show hidden file folders then every hidden file folders it will show us so that you won't suffer from searching whatever you need so click that and press ok so let's close the folder and let's go back to our Revit okay after we do that one we go to uh, here file location so we will click add let's add click the plus symbol add then my computer let's go to my computer 
my computer then local disk C or OSC double click then program data open program data double click here you will have Autodesk so click on Autodesk open it that one double click so when you go down just click in any folder and press R it will lead you to Revit okay down search Revit 2017 some of you open 2018 open that one the folder 2018 so you will find these folders now we have content packs family template IES libraries templates okay so these family templates are to create new families like lighting or chairs anything if you need to create we need to go to family templates but at the moment we need to create a project so that we need to go to templates double click the templates open it so we have three folders generic us imperial and metric so we will use metric because the imperial is for uh, inch feet and so on the us metric for mm meter and this kind of thing centimeters we are using us metric so let's double click on us metric so when you double click on us metric you will find those files those all of them are revit templates here also is written autodesk revit template 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 it shows you so if you see here we have construction uh, template metric metric shows you what type of template it is is it by inch or in mm we, we chose already metric in some of your computer you don't have this option right metric and imperial you don't have you only have uk correct mm -hmm. double click on uk because you have no other option mm -hmm. double click in uk then what comes next From US template, you you click. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. After UK template, yeah, let's see. We don't have electrical. So, you have here electrical default metric, right? Mechanical default, structural plumbing. These all things you have default metric. Huh? So what happened? Yeah, if you don't have anything in your system, the computer, it doesn't have any templates, any libraries. So what you will do for this solution? Because it will happen to you when you install the software, it will be empty. Yeah. So you will get from someone computer, you will take all the libraries and templates, you will copy it in your computer. That way you can continue. If you don't have any template, you cannot start. So when they install this, they didn't install it completely. All right, now for now, let's check uh, system default metric. Click system default. The system default is if you want for MEP works completely, we need to choose this system default. Click that and press OK. So in this dialog box, what happened now? We add arch architectural was there, system default appeared. So Try to add mechanical, same option. Try to add again. Click plus, click on plus, add. So, in some of my, we can help each other, okay? And if you guys don't understand, let's help to someone who's beside us. Then I'll come to you. I'll come. Let's choose mechanical, then press OK. So, we add system and mechanical default, then Click OK. Okay, this way you can create. Now let's open mechanical default metric. Open, click mechanical default metric, the template, then it will open to you.